Okay. Before we go into to the reason why uh, many people live in Africa trying to come to Europe, um, Libya as a whole, before the fall of Gaddafi, Lib Libya was one of the most successful countries in Africa, you know. Then after the fall of Gaddafi, everything went into chaos. And most of, if I can put it that way, the countries that contributed to the fall of Gaddafi have backed off mm. and they've left it in, in, a, in a state of chaos. So what can you say in terms of being British and knowing that the British government took part in what happened in Libya, likewise France, and today that country is chaos? Mm. It's a difficult one because I think intervention by any country in, an, in another's affairs always runs risks. Um, I would accept that Libya was stable. Um, certainly under Gaddafi it was stable. Um, I would not accept that it was a, it was a well-functioning country. I think there were issues there about um, increasingly erratic behaviour by Gaddafi, who I, I think eventually, uh, originally rather, was a force for good in the country in terms of moving forward. I think in the latter kind of years of his regime, from my perception, uh, uh, perspective of uh, running the Northern Refugee Centre then, we did have kind of significant number of people who came from Libya who, who were refugees from G G G Gaddafi's regime. So I, I think it's a mixed kind of report really on Gaddafi. But what I think is very clear is that if you are going to intervene in the country, and I think that the United States and France and uh, UK are all have bad at doing this, is that they're not kind of providing sufficient kind of stability and infrastructure afterwards. It's relatively easy to kind of change a head of state. Um, if you've got the fire, firepower, mm -hmm. um, it's less easier to then produce the stability that's needed for that transition period afterwards. And in Libya, it's obviously failed completely, and the British government needs to take some uh, responsibility for that.